dhidi ya kutumiwa vibaya na wanasiasa wanaojitakia makuu What we are now doing the three ministries interior health and education we are auditing the process of the last two weeks and if a decision shall be made it will be made based on facts nobody is thinking of closing the schools again Waziri George Magoha asema hakuna haja ya kufunga tena shule licha ya msambao wa corona shule za kimataifa zikisitisha mpango wa kuanza awamu ya pili ya masomo Na watu 14 zaidi wafariki kutokana na COVID-19 wengine 631 zaidi wakiambukizwa ugonjwa huo humo nchini Karibu tena mtazamaji mimi nafahamika kama Gladys Mungai kama nilivyoanza kwa kutanguliza na nakuhisi tu ukae mkao wa kula manake tuna mengi ambao tumekuandalia hii leo moja kwa moja mtazamaji Rais Huru Kinyata amewahimiza waendeshaji pikipiki ambao wanafahamika kama boda boda kutokubali kutumiwa na wanasiasa wanaoendeleza ajenda zao za kisiasa kabla ya uchaguzi mkuu ujao Rais Kinyata kiongea alipokutana na maafisa wa chama cha waendeshaji boda boda hapa jijini Nairobi alisema kwamba anakueleza masikitiko yake kwamba sekta hiyo hutumiwa na wanasiasa kwa maslahi yao wakati wa uchaguzi na akohimiza kuwekeza pesa zao ili kuepuka kushawishiwa na wanasiasa Akihutubia maafisa wa chama cha waendeshaji boda boda katika ukumbi wa kijamii wa Pomwani jijini Nairobi, Rais Kenyatta alisema sekta hiyo ni muhimu kwa uchumi wa taifa hili. Aliwashauri waendeshaji pikipiki kutambua kanuni bora za kujimudu kimaisha na kuzizingatia ikiwemo kuwekeza pesa zao. Kwa mtazamaji waziri wa elimu Profesa George Magoha na kuomba kwamba mtazamaji tunaomba uh, utusihi tu kwa sababu ya taarifa hiyo Rais Uhuru Kenyatta tutakuwa tunakuletea tu punde tu sauti hiyo itakaporekebishwa tukiangazia masuala ya elimu mtazamaji waziri wa elimu Profesa George Magoha amekariri kwamba shule hazitafungwa hii ni licha ya visa vipya vya maambukizi ya corona kuripotiwa na kuongezeka humu nchini Magoha akitoa wito wa kuwepo kwa juhudi za pamoja ni katika kuhakikisha kwamba kuna usalama wa wanafunzi na waziri huyo alithibitisha kwamba wanafunzi wapatao milioni tatu wa darasa la nane, grade ya nne na kidato cha nne wamerejelea masomo katika awamu yao ya kwanza ya kufunguliwa tena kwa shule haya najiri mtazamaji huku wanafunzi mwanafunzi mmoja wa kidato cha nne kwenye kaunti ya Machakos akithibitishwa kuwa na ugonjwa wa covid 19 have seen that since the bars were open uh, certain things have happened and we have had spikes and what we are now doing the three ministries interior health and education we are auditing the process of the last two weeks and if a decision shall be made it will be made based on facts nobody is thinking of closing the schools again and nobody is thinking of rushing to uh uh reopen the others we are happy that we opened schools for three million of our children in grade four standard eight and form four and we are also very happy to announce that so far there is nothing major that has happened that can shake our resolve both the ministries of health and education together with the ministry of interior are continuously monitoring the progress of our children 
tukiangazia siasa za BBI viongozi wanawake wamekosoa ripoti ya BBI wakidai kwamba haizingatii swala tata la usawa kijinsia hususan katika bunge la kitaifa na kwenye serikali kuu wakiongea wakati wa mkutano wa uhamasisho kuhusu ripoti hiyo viongozi hao walisema kwamba ripoti ya BBI haipasi kufutiliwa mbali hatua zilizopigwa nchini katika katiba mwaka na kumi. viongozi hao walikiri kwamba ripoti hiyo inalenga kusuluhisha changamoto zinazowakumba wa Kenya lakini ipo haja ya kuzungumzia swala hilo na sio tu kuacha mianya iliyoko uongozini bali pia mianya ya kijinsia Ripoti ya BBI inayotarajiwa kuzinduliwa rasmi siku ya Jumatatu ijayo imeibua mdahalo wa kitaifa ambao huenda ikaibua mabadiliko kwenye ajenda ya bunge. Viongozi wa kike wanataka mashauriano zaidi kufanywa ili kukabiliana na mianya iliyopo kwenye ripoti hiyo kuhusiana na kanuni ya thuluthi mbili ya uwakilishi. But even as we happen with the gates we also cannot keep quiet when an omission has been noticed. An omission on the executive, the protection in the executive and an omission in the National Assembly that there are no guaranteed seats for women. Conversation continues. Our expectation is that this matter of the two-thirds implementation mechanism in the National Assembly will be firmly, explicitly, and finally be addressed to ensure full implementation of the two-thirds gender rule in both houses na hata ingawa walikiri kwamba ripoti hiyo inatoa fursa nyingi kwa wanawake hususan kwenye pendekezo la uwakilishi wa asilimia hamsini kwa waume na wanawake katika bunge la seneti viongozi hao wanasema lazima ripoti hiyo itoe pendekezo la mikakati ya utekelezaji usawa kijinsia katika bunge la taifa maoni hayo yaliungwa mkono na mwakilishi wa wanawake katika kaunti ya Muranga Sabina Shege jambo ambalo limetukia ni kwamba ametoa kiti cha kina mama katika bunge kile cha women rep na wamepeleka senate ambapo sasa tutakuwa na maseneta wawili wa kiume na wa kike nasema senate ni vizuri wamekuwa na formula ambayo imekuwa sasa 100% imekuwa 50-50 na pia ile ya deputy governors tunafurahia sana ya kwamba watakuwa wa jinsia tofauti governor akiwa mama deputy wake awe wa, 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 wa kiume lakini hii maneno ya women rep kuondolewa kwenye uh, kwenye national assembly sio jambo nzuri kwa sababu wale wakina mama ambao walikuwa wale uh, 47 ndio hata waliwezesha namba zikawa nyingi kwa upande wake seneta mteule Gertrude Msuruve alisema ripoti ya BBI haijashughulikia wakilishi wa watu walio na ulemavu bungeni remember in the senate in the senate women with disabilities have lost what they already had the guarantee of uh, one man one woman one man one woman with disability to represent so that guarantee we don't have anymore So our fellow women should make sure that they are bringing us on board. They are bringing women with disabilities on board. As we talk about women, let's talk about also women with disabilities in decision making. Msuruve alisaba ripoti hiyo inawapa matumaini wa Kenya na akawahimiza kuisoma kwa minajili ya kuiboresha. When it comes to uh, you know voting we uh, nominated uh, senators do not have voting rights. But uh, in this document uh, all senators will have voting rights and uh, even when it comes to being uh, really seen on the ground they'll be more effective baadhi ya mapendekezo yanayotoa afueni kwa wanawake katika ripoti hiyo ni pamoja na gavana na naibu wake wasiwe wa jinsia moja huku naibu gavana akipewa majukumu mahususi vyama vya kisiasa kuwasilisha kwa tume ya IBC orodha ya wawaniaji kwa kuzingatia usawa wa kijinsia uhifadhi na utekelezaji wa kipengee cha 43 kuhusu haki za afya chakula maji na usalama ambazo zitapewa kipaumbele kwenye matumizi ya pesa za umma Caroline Kamao nikiripotia darubini ya Channel 1 Tazamaji tukiangazia taarifa za COVID-19 huko nchini ni kwamba watu 14 zaidi wamefariki kutokana na ugonjwa COVID-19 katika muda wa saa 24 zilizopita. Watu wengine 16 wako katika vyumba vya wagonjwa mahututi katika hospitali mbalimbali ili hali wengine 59 wanapokea hewa ya oksijeni. Hili katika katika kipindi hicho visa vipya 600 31 vimenakiliwa kutokana na sampuli 6142 zilizopimwa ikiwa ni 10.3 ya maambukizi. 
Taifa hili limenakili visa vipya 631 vya maambukizi kutoka kwa sampuli 6142 zilizopimwa. Hii ikiwa ishara tosha kwamba ugonjwa huo unaendelea kusambaa humo nchini. Katika kipindi hicho watu 14 waliaga dunia kutokana na ugonjwa huo na kufikisha jumla ya watu waliofariki humo nchini kuwa 884. Idadi ya wagonjwa wanaoendelea kupokea matibabu kwenye vyumba vya wagonjwa mahututi sasa imefika 47 huku wale wanaopokea hewa ya oksijeni wakiongezeka kutoka 45 hadi 59 wagonjwa 1142 wamelazwa katika hospitali mbalimbali mbali, na wengine 1238 wanaendelea kupokea utunzi wa nyumbani jumla ya maambukizi ya covid-19 humo nchini kufikia sasa ni 1047843 kutoka kwa jumla ya sampuli 1646367 zilizopimwa visa hivyo vipya vya maambukizi vimenakiliwa katika kaunti 32 kaunti ya Nairobi ikiongoza kwa visa 235 wizara ya afya imesema watu 371 wamepona kutokana na ugonjwa huo 313 kutoka miongoni mwa wale waliokuwa kipokea matibabu nyumbani na 58 kutoka hospitali mbalimbali mbali. jumla ya watu waliopata nafuu kutokana na ugonjwa huo humu nchini kufikia sasa ni 1033421 mtazamaji kufuatia taarifa hiyo ya mwanzangu Safin Acheng unahimiza tu kuvalia maski na kunawa mikono mara kwa mara ili kuzuia maambukizi ya COVID-19 tukisonga mbele mtazamaji mbunge wa Malindi Aisha Jumwa amewachiliwa kwa dhamani ya shilingi milioni 4 Jumwa anameshtakiwa kwa mauaji ya Ngumbao Jilo wakati wa ghasia za kampeni ya uchaguzi mdogo katika eneo la Ganda mwaka jana mshukiwa mwenza wa Jumwa Geoffrey Otino aliachiliwa kwa dhamani ya shilingi milioni 1.5 pesa taslimu au bondi ya shilingi milioni moja. Jaji wa mahakama kuu ya Mombasa Njoki Mwangi alisema kwamba hakukuwa na sababu madhubuti za kuendelea kuwazuilia washukiwa ambao wamekuwa wakizuiliwa katika kituo cha polisi cha Port mjini Mombasa kwa wiki moja. Ilikuwa furaha kubwa kwa mbunge wa Malindi Aisha Jumwa baada ya mahakama kuu ya Mombasa kumwachilia yeye wake kwa dhamana ya pesa taslim baada ya kukikesha kwenye korokoro ya kituo cha polisi cha Port mjini Mombasa kwa wiki moja. Aisha aliachiliwa huru kwa dhamana ya shilingi milioni nne pesa taslim au bondi ya shilingi milioni tatu huku mshukiwa mwenza Geoffrey Otieno akiachiliwa kwa dhamana ya shilingi milioni moja nukta tano pesa taslim au bondi ya shilingi milioni moja Jumwa na mlinzi wake wamehusishwa kwenye mauaji ya Ngumbao Jola aliyekuwa na umri wa miaka 48 wakati wa uchaguzi mdogo wa kujaza kiti cha ganda mwaka uliopita baada ya kuzua wa vurumai miongoni mwa wafuasi wa upinzani hapo jana jumwa na mshtaki wa mwenza walikanusha shtaka hilo na kuihimiza mahakama iwaachilie kwa dhamana huku kesi hiyo ikitarajiwa kuendelea kuanzia tarehe tatu mwezi ujao akitoa uamuzi hivi leo jaji Njoki Mwangi alisema sababu zilizotolewa na upande wa mashtaka za jumwa na mlinzi wake waendelee kuzuiliwa korokoroni hazikuwa na uzito The accused persons are warned not to interfere, intimidate or threaten witnesses during the hearing of the, the murder case against them. Jaji Mwangi pia aliwaagiza Jumwa na mlinzi wake kusalimisha pasipoti zao pamoja na kufika mahakamani wanapohitajika kufanya hivyo. They will be at liberty to apply for temporary release of the said passports should need arise for them to travel out of the country. Such such a request or request shall be accompanied by supporting documents to establish the purpose of their exit from Kenya and their return date to the country must be disclosed. Juni Karisa Mbele nikiripotia Darubini kutoka kaunti ya Mombasa. Tazamaji taarifa hiyo ya mwanzangu Junei Karisa inapeleka katika sehemu ya mapumziko mafupi tukirejeani taarifa zaidi usiondoke.
Wonderful Night on KBC Channel One. Badala ya kufanya udako kama wasichana wadogo, fanya kitu ambacho unaelewa vizuri. Mazoezi. But the way you and Aida have been acting. Chana na hii binti. For once, take my advice. What are you afraid of? Aira. So what? He meets his father. I am back, Abasi. And this time I'm going to show you what I'm really made of. Siko welcome to Abba. Instead, niambie kifu niambie. Do your way, silence. It could be your right telling him to choose. Maybe he should, for once in his life. on KBC Channel One. Do I look like a murderer? No one does. But on this, I choose to just recover. Mama! What? Don't forget why I brought you here. And still you haven't brought me anything useful. You do not see Glenn. Glenn is under your wings. But you see, what I don't understand is why you're so scared that he's going to say something. And even if he does, what's this? Welcome to the city of sin. Eight-time CAF Champions League winner Salah Khali of Egypt inched closer to qualifying for the finals of the prestigious cup when they humbled twice champions while dad Casablanca by two goals at 2-0 in the first leg semi-final encounter played last Saturday in Morocco. You've got to be careful. Oh, it's an easy chance. This is one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. It's in the back of the net. There's your goal. Goal to make it 2-0 for Ali. Ali Malol, he slots it in, blasts into the corner. This Friday, the 23rd of October 2020, Al-Ahli hosts Oidad in the second leg semi-final clash. The match kicks off at 10 p.m. Catch the action live on KBC Channel 1, your true sports partner. Karibu tena mtazamaji na iwapo ndio mwanzo unajiunga nasi na sema asante sana na unatazama taarifa za darubini wikendi. Tukisonga mbele mvulana mwenye umri wa miaka minne alifariki na wengine wawili kujeruhiwa hii ni baada ya kushambuliwa na nyuki huko eneo la aina Moi County ya Kericho. Wakazi wanasema kwamba juhudi zao za kumkimbiza hospitalini zilitatizwa na hali mbaya ya barabara. Wakati huo huo watu wengine watatu wametoa nguvuni katika kaunti ya Tanzania wakiwa na kilo 48 za vipande vya pembe za ndovu. Familia ya mvulana mwenye umri wa miaka minne katika kijiji cha Betulelach eneo bunge la ina moyo bado inawaza kuhusu kifo chake. Inaarifiwa kwamba kijana huyo alikuwa na wenzake wawili walipovamiwa na nyuki. Ikabidi sasa semeji akimbie kwake kuleta blangeti kusaidia mtoto mmoja mdogo wa 5 months. Kurudi tena huyu semeji alipookoa huyu mtoto wa 5 months akapeleka bahati mbaya mwingine hakujulikana penye alikuwa. Majirani wanasema walisikia kilio na kufanikiwa kuokoa vijana hao. Hata hivyo, juhudi zao za kumkimbiza hospitalini zilitatiziwa na hali mbaya ya barabara kwani hospitali iliyoko karibu ya aina moyo imetangazwa kuwa kituo cha kuwatenga wale waliodhibitishwa kuwa na ugonjwa wa COVID-19. Hapa kwetu hakuna mabarabara mazuri ikabidi hao watoto wapelekwe moja kwa moja wawili kwa boda alafu kurudi ya tatu kuchukua yule alikuwa amefahamiwa sana na, na nyuki. Kufika hospitali akaambiwa wapeleke huyo mwenye alikuwa mbaya mwenye alikuwa wa mwisho kupatikana kupelekwa Kericho County Referral Hospital akapata usaidizi mpaka akaongea ingawa alikuwa amekuwa na alikuwa na shida ya kufura mwili wote akaongea kidogo akamwambia papa yake turudi madaktari walisaidia lakini haukuwezekana mmoja wa vijana hao amelazwa kwenye hospitali ya county ya Kericho Ilhali mwingine alitibiwa na kuruhusiwa kuondoka. Wakazi hao sasa wanataka barabara zikarabatiwe. Tusaidie kwa sababu hapa ni kama pembeni kabisa ya county kilicho county. Hapa kuanzia hapa hakuna stima kwa mfano hospital maji hakuna. Wakati huo oh huo watu watatu wametoa nguvuni baada ya kupatikana na kila 48 na 8 za vipande vya pembe za ndovu huko Transoia. Maafisa wa shirika la huduma kwa wanyamapori nchini waliwakamata washukiwa hao wakiwa wanatafuta wanunuzi. In their possession uh, uh, they had three bags. 
and inside the three bags uh, they had uh, they had uh, stacked inside uh, some uh, uh, eight pieces of uh, elephant tusks Afisa mkuu ofisi katika eneo hilo Frederick Ching alisema maafisa hao walikuwa wamejifanya kuwa wanunuzi ndipo wakafaulu kuzuia uuzaji wa vipande vinane vya pembe za ndovu The officers uh, having presented themselves as buyers then they happened to, interse to intercept the uh, suspected uh, poachers they were brought uh, to Kitale police station where they had been arraigned before court this morning charged with being in possession of game trophy Jack Yambiru Darubini Channel 1 Tukiangazia masuala ya biashara ni kwamba serikali za kaunti sasa zitahusika moja kwa moja kwenye marekebisho sekta ya kahawa yani katika hatua inayodhamiriwa kulinda maslahi ya wakulima katika kaunti ambazo kahawa inakuzwa baraza la magavana linasema kwamba pasipo na mwingilio wao kaunti hazitatende wa haki kufuatia kutohusishwa kwao kwenye mchakato wa hivi punde kuhusu marekebisho ya sheria na udhibiti wa sekta ya kahawa Kufuatia marekebisho ya sheria kuhusu masoko ya mtaji wa hisa soko la bidhaa zinazohitaji kuuzwa haraka liliwekwa chini ya udhibiti wa halmashauri ya usimamizi wa masoko ya mtaji wa hisa ili kuimarisha usimamizi wa wadau na kuhakikisha ulinzi wa wateja mnamo Aprili mwaka huu sheria za mwaka 2020 za halmashauri ya usimamizi wa masoko ya mtaji kuhusu mauzo ya kahawa zilichapishwa kirasmi na kuipatia halmashauri hiyo mamlaka ya kutoa leseni kwa minada na maajenti wa kahawa kuambatana na kanuni za kawaida za mwaka 2019 halmashauri ya usimamizi wa masoko ya mtaji kwa mara nyingine ilipewa mamlaka ya kutoa leseni kwa minada na maajenti wa kahawa kuanzia tarehe mosi mwezi Julai mwaka 2020 hata hivyo baraza la magavana nchini limeibua wasiwasi kuhusu kanuni hizo mpya likisema kwamba kaunti ambako kahawa inakuzwa hazikuhusishwa katika uamuzi huo kwenye taarifa kwa vyombo vya habari magavana walisema sheria hizo zinahitaji kuch chunguzwa upya baina yao jopo kazi la rais kuhusu marekebisho ya sekta ya kahawa na pia bunge aidha baraza la magavana na kamati ya bunge la seneti juu ya kilimo wakati wa mkutano wao huko Mombasa lilitoa wito kwa wizara ya kilimo na pia halmashauri ya usimamizi wa masoko ya mtaji kuondoa sharti linalowahitaji wakulima kutoa dhamana ya benki ya shilingi milioni mia moja kabla ya kupewa leseni za kuuza kahawa yao The CAF Confederation Cup final live and exclusive on KBC Channel 1 this Sunday the 25th of October 2020. RS Berkane featuring in their second consecutive CAF Confederation Cup final takes on Pyramids Club of Egypt first time finalist in a breathtaking final which will be staged in Rabat Morocco cruise to the final by eliminating compatriot Hassania Gadir by two goals to one while Pyramids asked the club Horoya by hitting them two goals to zero who will be crowned the 2020 CAF Confederation Cup champions find out by watching the action live on KBC Channel 1 this Sunday kicking off at 10 p.m. KBC Channel 1 your true sports partner tonight on KBC Channel 1 <laughs> <laughs> Kwa 
karibu tena mtazamaji na michezoni ni kwamba kocha wa Harambe Stars Jacob Ghost Mulei anasema kwamba watafanya kila jitihada kuhakikisha kwamba kuna wachezaji wote wa kulipwa wanajiunga na timu hiyo ya taifa kabla ya mechi za kufuzu kwa kombe la bara Afrika mwaka na moja dhidi ya Comoros mwezi Novemba Mulei alitikwa jukumu la kuongoza Stars kwa mkataba wa miaka mitatu baada ya Francis Kimanzi kuondoka kwenye mechi ya mwisho ya kimataifa ya kirafiki dhidi ya Zambia Kenya ilikosa huduma za wachezaji kadhaa wa kulipwa baadhi ya wachezaji hao waliokosa mchuano huo na ambao Kenya ilishinda mabao mawili kwa moja ni mlinda lango Arnold Origi na Hodha Victor Wanyama kiungo Johana Omolo mlinzi Joseph Okumu na mshambulizi Michael Olunga Kwenye kwa mtazamaji kiungo wa Super Eagles ya Nigeria Johana Ogu amewataka wenzake kususia mechi zijazo za taifa hilo kama njia ya kuelezea kuturidhisho kwao na serikali ya taifa hilo Ogu ambaye amechezea timu ya taifa mechi 26 anasema kwamba hatio hiyo itatuma ujumbe muhimu siku ya Jumanne mshambulizi wa Manchester United Odion Igalo alitaja serikali ya Nigeria kuwa na mfumo mbaya ambao haupaswi kuigwa kote duniani kumekuepo na maandamano nchini Nigeria kuhusu wananchi wakitaka kitengo maalum cha polisi cha kukabiliana na uhalifu kivunjwe aidha jeshi la Nigeria limekanusha madai kwamba liliwaua waandamanaji huku Rais Mohamed Buhari akiwataka waandamanaji hao kusitisha maandamano na kushauriana na serikali Kwingineko wachezaji wa kimataifa wa Uingereza James Madison na Harvey Barnes walifunga mabao yao ya kwanza barani Ulaya huku Leicester City ikishinda Zohia Ruhsak mabao matatu kwa sifuri. Wakati huo huo kocha wa Arsenal Michael Arteta amesema kwamba kiungo Thomas Partey ana uwezo wa kuisaidia pakubwa timu hiyo baada ya kujumuishwa kwenye kikosi kilichoshinda Rapid Vienna ambao ni mabao mawili kwa moja kwenye mchuano wa kuania kombe ligi la Europa. Wageni Zoria walianza vyema mechi hiyo na kumlazimu mlinda langu wa Leicester City Kasper Schmeichel kufanya kazi ya ziada. Madison alifungia Leicester bao la kwanza baada ya kuunganisha cross kutoka kwa Kelechi Hanacho. Aida Burns alipatika kimiani bao la pili kisha Ihanacho akafunga bao la tatu. Wakati wa huo ni Lennon amesema alirithishwa na kikosi chake licha timiwa kushindwa na AC Milan kwenye mechi ya kwanza ya ligi ya Europa. Jens Peter alifunga bao katika dakika za mwisho mwisho na kuhakikishia ushindi AC Milan. Milan his Brahim Diaz does he hit it he will now and he'll score. Kwingine kwa kocha wa Arsenal Mikel Arteta amesema kiungo Thomas Partey ana uwezo wa kuisaidia pakubwa timu hiyo baada ya kujumuisha kwenye kikosi kilichoishinda Rapid Vienna mabao mawili kwa moja kwenye mchuano wa kwania kombe la ligi ya Europa David Luiz na Pierre Emerick Aubameyang walifungia Arsenal baada ya mlalango Bernard Leno kufanya makosa na kumwezesha taksi ya Chelsea Fountas kuifungia Rapid Vienna bao la kwanza. Kwenye mechi nyingine AS Roma ilishinda Young Boys mabao mawili kwa moja, Hopel Biashiva ikailemea Slavia Praha mabao matatu kwa moja, PSV Eindhoven ikashinda mabao mawili kwa moja na Granada na Ludo Great ikalemewa mabao mawili kwa moja na Royo Antwerp. Mtazamaji kufikia hapo sina budi ila kulikunja jamvi la taarifa za darubini wikendi lakini kama unafahamu fahamu siku baada nyingine tunadhamini utazamaji wako na kuangalia tu kauli zako kwenye mitandao ya kijamii mnasema um, kwamba i had to watch anasema anaitwa ustadh lunani 
Alafu Karinga Semo anasema nice watching this news. Alafu mwingine anasema vipi? Lumbaisio Holman anasema anatazama kutoka county ya Vihiga. Wengine anasema Raymond Matata hasemi anatazama kutoka maeneo yepi? Anasema anatazama babu anatazama kutoka Mumias Korondela. Alafu Okohozi anasema anatazama kutoka eneo la Kisumu. Alafu amaganga Mustafa ya mwisho kabisa mtazamaji kwa sababu ya muda anasema kazi nzuri natazama kutoka eneo la Kitale na anaendelea kusoma BBI. Asante sana mtazamaji kwa utazamaji wako na kuhusiana na kauli ambazo umetupa kuhusiana na taarifa hizo. Sina budi mtazamaji la kuondoka ila mwendo wa saa tatu utakuwa unapokea taarifa hizi zaidi na nyinginezo kwa lugha ya kimombo. Mimi naitwa Gladys Mungai ila kabla sijaondoka mtazamaji na kuomba tu ni kufahamishe kwamba katika muda wa mwezi mmoja ambao utakuwa unakuja hautakuwa nami manake naelekea kwenye likizo fupi lakini hapa hajarika neno manake wenzangu wako chonjo kukuletea tu yanayojiri kwenye tasnia ya uana habari. Nasema asante sana kwa utazamaji wako na kuacha na mwenzangu Tili Umako akujuze kulikoni katika idara ya utabiri wa hali ya hewa alamsiki Ni utabiri wa hali ya hewa katika muda wa saa 24 zijazo hujambo na karibu mtazamaji jina langu ni Tili Marco mji wa Kiricho ndio baridi zaidi leo usiku viwango vya joto vitafikia nyuzi kumi pekee Wakati huo huo rasharasha za mvua na ngurumo za radi zatarajiwa katika maeneo ya Magharibi, Nyanza na baadhi ya sehemu za Rift Valley. Maeneo ya Ziwa Turkana vile vile kuna tarajiwa kuwa na rasharasha za mvua na ngurumo za radi. Itakapotimu kesho asubuhi ni kwamba maeneo kadhaa ya nchi kutakuwa na vipindi vya jua. Lakini kuna uwezekano wa mvua itakayopisha vipindi vya jua katika maeneo ya Mandera, Garissa, Wajia na vile vile katika maeneo ya Kisumu. Mwambao wa pwani vile vile kuna tarajiwa kuwa na rasharasha za mvua katika sehemu chache. Itakapotimu majira ya lasiri ni kwamba vipindi vya jua vitaendelea kushuhudiwa katika maeneo kadhaa ya nchi. Lakini kuna uwezekano wa rasharasha za mvua na ngurumo za radi katika maeneo ya Kisi, Kericho, Kisumu, Eldoret, Kakamega na vile vile Kitale. Maeneo ya Lodwa vile vile kuna tarajiwa kuwa na rasharasha za mvua na ngurumo za radi. Na tukiangazia viwango vya joto ni kwamba joto litafikia nyuzi 38 katika maeneo ya Lodwa. Kaunti ya Nairobi tuna kili kati ya nyuzi 26 na 16. Hadi hapo mtazamaji na itimisha utabiri wa hali ya hewa kwa sasa hadi kesho inshallah na kuacha na utabiri wa hali ya hewa katika maeneo mengine duniani kumbuka aliye kando hangukiwi na mti uwe na usiku mtulivu Beauty and Fashion College with branches in Nairobi, Eldoret, Fika and Meru. Did you know that we are a Tibet approved institution? We offer courses in fashion design, interior design in soft furnishing, event decoration, flower arrangement, event planning, hairdressing, barbering and dreadlocks, beauty therapy, makeup, nail technology, spa massages, teaching skills, TOT, solo business management, and many more. Register now and visit our website on www.verabeautycollege.com. You can also call on 0725-923-550 Nairobi branch, 
087-689 Eldoret Branch, 0722-227428 Thicker Branch, 0725-000706 Meru Branch. Vera Beauty and Fashion College, a TVET approved institution. Tonight on KBC Channel One. Eight time CAF Champions League winner Salah of Egypt inched closer to qualifying for the finals of the prestigious cup when they humbled twice champions while dad Casablanca by two goals at 2 0 in the first leg semi final encounter played last Saturday in Morocco. You've got to be careful. Oh, it's an easy chance. This is one on one with the goalkeeper. It's in the back of the net. There's your goal. goal to make it 2 0 for Ali Ali Malou. He slots it in, blasts into the corner. This Friday, the 23rd of October 2020, Alahli hosts Waidad in the second leg semi final clash. The match kicks off at 10 pm. Catch the action live on KBC Channel One, your true sports partner. If you have a moment, I'd like to speak with you in my office. Yeah, Nikki, my Lisa Sinta, come. Is everything all right? Yeah, I would understand if you didn't want to work with me anymore. Yeah, I see. You have to get over.